so for uh, this first Louder. talk, <laughs> yeah. okay, for this first talk I have no slides, I will uh, just use the code editor, I will yeah. add a new operator in code. Uh, so uh, you are all familiar with the uh, diamond operator, which reads files from, uh, uh, from the There's a bit of obscure feature of the diamond operator. It's that it's able to fork a shell to, to read from a command. I don't know if uh, many of you have used this. So this is quite interesting uh, when uh, bash uh, security vulnerabilities are in the news. Uh, but if you try to find uh, whose name is ending with a pipe, and if you ring it with a diamond operator, Perl will we fork a shell for you and execute the, the, file, line, uh, the, the file name in the mind of the pipe as a bash command. So, uh, at some point, uh, I thought that it was maybe a good idea to introduce a variation of that operator that would not do that. Uh, so, you know that there are uh, basically two forms of, uh, of open. Uh, you can open a file uh, just by its name, only it's going to interpret multiple characters by like pipe and uh, less than uh, as ways to open the file. And it, it's the, the form of open that is used by the diamond operator. And there's a safer form of open when you actually say open file handle and then a mode character which is usually uh, less than or uh, greater than. And then a file name that is not going to be passed to any shell or um, anything like that. So, Damn it, Stephen. So I, I got uh, I got thinking uh, how do I uh, how do I introduce a new operator? There are many moving parts uh, where I need to, to change the pair interpreter. Uh, first, I need to, to change a bit the, the parser of Perl to, to recognize a new operator, and then I, I need to, to change the run type uh, to to have Perl to the safer open. Rather than the insecure open. Uh, so I was remembering a very old dis discussion on P5P where uh, it was proposed that such an operator should be named double diamond, which is currently uh, in all released birds a syntax error. Try to understand how Perl is parsing the diamond operator. <coughs> For that, we can use the concise, uh, the B concise module to tell us what is the internal structure of the uh, in a simpler, internal structure of the diamond operator. So the, the interesting line there is. Uh, Four and the number three, uh, then they are in uh, not in a, they are num numbered in an execution order. So we we'll see it's uh, actually a dump of all the operations that uh, Perl is going to execute uh, when it executes that program. <coughs> so you have an operation that is called read line, and it reads basically a line from a file, so that's the diagram operator. And just uh, next to it, he reads the line from a specific file handle, internal magic file handle that is called RV, which is <coughs> all the list of uh, file names that are passed from the command line. Uh, and next, next to the read line operator there, we see some flags, the V and K. Uh, v means that we have invoked uh, the, the operator. 
vector in a void complex. If I, I, if I had a print in front of that, then I have a L, which means least complex. Um, K means that the that specific operator has a key, which is uh, get me the RP if I remember on the green from there. Uh, so the first idea that I got was uh, let's uh, let's extend the, the parser of pair on a put a flag on that operator that we tell that uh, it has seen the specific double type on the operator that I want. And change the behavior of the pair based on that flag. So that was uh, the first of the patches that I want. So The, the grammar of Perl itself, I, I just patch a tokenizer which is reading the Perl program and splitting it in, a, in lexical tokens that get them compiled. Uh, so I first located uh, the, the part that is looking for clear documents. Because when I try to use a double time operator, it, it, it's finding a clear document. So I, I need to plug there. I have, if I have uh, less than, less than, not followed by greater than, uh, I'm saying that uh, okay, it's going uh, to, to be uh, here back. But if it's followed by greater than, I will <coughs> continue uh, my tokenizing and, and try to, to recognize uh, double time. Then I got lucky because I got, I found comments in the code which is very rare in the code of the tokenizer of Perl. Mm -hmm. There are the current uh, functions that say, oh, it's here that we, we recognize the diamond operator when we, when we pass Perl. So I add a new line to the the first thing first, always document your code. And then a bit later in uh, that uh, function that is called the S scan input symbol, I had a, a variable, a, a Boolean variable, when I store my flag. Is, is this going to be a, a normal uh, magic open or uh, no magic one? So what I'm going to do with that one? Then, uh, here I must admit that I fiddled around a bit uh, to, to find uh, some code that was a sexual thing. Uh, by reading too much in a buffer. But basically, I got at this point if after having read the, the first less than, I have one less than, one greater than, and one, and one greater than, then I'm setting my flag to true. Then I'm adjusting the, the character buffer for the next token to be consumed. If I don't see that, I, I fall back to the original code. So this code is uh, extracting whatever is uh, between the angle brackets. But here I'm not uh, interested in uh, any kind of uh, name between the angle brackets. I just want less, less than, less than, better than, better than. Then I continue. And at the end of the patch, there is one line that creates in the internal uh, runtime structure of Perl the operation read line, which is a unary operation because it's a unary operator. And there, one of the parameters uh, indicates the flags that we put on that operation in the compiled uh, program. And there, instead of putting zero, no flag, I look at my Boolean variable, and if it's on, if I have seen the, the double uh, diamond operator, I put a flag, operation flag, <coughs> and it's going to be carried on uh, to the runtime. So at least uh, that's uh, the theory. So 
this it should work but I have missed something I have missed uh, the fact I show you I have missed the fact that I have uh, somehow uh, RPV magically introduced there so let's see what happens when I try to compile with, with my new Perl and try to compile this It's my recollection that uh, not that very important to me, but well. And when it's working, I would like to show you that here on the five stars, that means that I've put the special flag on the red line of the river. It wasn't working this morning, I swear. <laughs> the test of the standard uh, test shoot. Um, I have uh, tests for like uh, for testing what happens when you like, uh, try to use a double tie on operator with uh, with normal input or a bit uh, later when you but the result uh, what uh, that I want when I try to do a empty file or a double file with a, with a name at the, uh, with a pipe at the end. Okay, basically, the, this is a test that will run this as a one-liner that will give those arguments and we expect, expect it to fail by saying can't open equal full pipe, no such file or directory. Optimizing uh, the, the list of operations, uh, what we call the operation tree, after the first completion pass. And uh, so, for, for each, uh, for most of the operations that are produced by the completion phase, uh, we run uh, an optimization pass. So, uh, for the read line operation, the function that is uh, supposed to optimize it is called uh, Perl check read line. There's a part where it actually uh, inserts a new club uh, up, which is going to get the club, which is named Arcli, which we see in the in the tree. So let, let me a bit uh, go through the club. It's, it's supposed to be a new operator, a new read line operator, fetching Arcli. And it's indicating uh, free from the memory the old operator that was constructed by the tokenization phase. So, just what I needed to do was to carry on the flag on the original operator instead of reselling it to zero. <coughs> so, I have been in the second patch. So 
The function is there called next athlete, which when you reach end of five uh, on, on one of the files that you provided on the common line, uh, will open the next one and, and pass it uh, in the RP uh, file number. So let's go to the third uh, patch where I located the function uh, next RP. I add a uh, parameter to it. Is there. Before we were uh, calling uh, open, so this is uh, exactly like the term of the open, except that uh, it's with C. We are calling that and the fire under uh, and there the, the string that we passed to the core uh, as second argument of open. So I replace that by uh, if I want a no magic open, I'm calling open with the fire under name, the mod character. Form, which has a length of 1, because it's in C, so we will have to provide the length of the strings to be uh, safe. And uh, I pass uh, what, whatever I have on the, on the blog that goes after bars. Mm -hmm. And then I go on. And then the, the rest of the patch is basically locating all the invocations of uh, ne next RP in the Perl. And adding uh, the, the new uh, the new Boolean parameter to do invocations. And notably, in the functions that we were seeing uh, a bit earlier, per and to reline, that uh, does implement the, the reline. I'm checking PL up, the op that we are currently executing, that is a reline op. I'm checking the op special flag on it. And if it's true, I set the no magic open uh, argument to true. So maybe I can Test, but I, I did the test at the end. Uh, yes, the, 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 the fact that it's 
it's not treating a single dash on the command line as a read from the standard input. So this works. Actually, it looks for a file and dash, uh, not for standard input. So that's done. The only thing that is missing at this point is uh, writing documentation and a chunk log. Any questions? Yes. But what happens if you add the time operator after this one? I don't you have state on magic open error. Yes. Uh, Magic happens when uh, when you when you are going to open the next file that, that you see on the on the command line. So you, you can read a lot of lines with a normal diamond operator, and if you read the, just the, the line where uh, you reach uh, end of file and you are going to open the next file with a double diamond operator, you are going to use the, uh, the non magical open. Words, uh, the property of opening safely uh, file name is the property of the operator and not of the file handle. Mm -hmm. This is why I put actually the flag on the operator and not on the RP uh, file handle itself. Any other question? If you worry about our cat line, yeah, I think yeah. horrible optimization getting into one. Good question. I should be good. You see, at Aircat's line, it's an uh, optimized operator for when you, you append the, uh, the line that you have just read to a string. But nowadays, it's just invoking two read lines, so it works. It's uh, one of those uh, micro-optimizations that you have in Perl. Uh, when you compile the script with uh, dot equals to concatenate uh, strings, it removes uh, the read line operator and replaces that by an R cat line operator. But the, the input implementation is the same, so uh, the input is the same. Not that much difficult to patch Perl. Uh, you have to be a bit familiar with the code base, but there, there are uh, a lot of nice people on Perl 5 porters that are always willing to provide guidance. <laughs> uh, well, I would love you. <laughs> 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 because you are in the here, right? Yeah. Because you are also in that group, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so I'm